You know, it sounds dirty. Sex, we're gonna sex my turtles. I'm gonna sex my turtles. <laughs> this video is so getting demonetized. Hey guys, what up? Welcome back to another video. So, um, yeah, today we are gonna sex some turtles. So I get a lot of emails and messages. A lot of you reach out to me for help with identifying whether your turtles are males or females. So I decided to just go ahead and make a video showing you guys how to tell the difference. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at all my turtles and sex all of them. Well, all the ones that can be sexed. You know, the ones that are old enough. And I'm gonna show you guys what to look for so that you guys can sex your turtles. And that sounds so weird. That's the weirdest sentence I've ever said. <laughs> This is Tito. Tito's my baby. So we're gonna go ahead and start with sliders because they're the most common pet turtles. So I figured, you know, this is probably what you're looking for anyways. So this is a male red-eared slider. The dead giveaway for sliders is the claws. So females have shorter claws. Males have extremely long Claw, especially like these two like the second and third and they're extremely long and that's because they use these during mating so males actually wiggle like this their claws in front of a female's face during mating so um, you know they, they need the long claws to impress female turtles that's a weird way to get chicks dude like oh how'd you guys meet Oh, you know, I just wiggled my long claws in front of her. That's an interesting love story. Thank you for sharing. Another way to tell a difference between a male and a female slider is the tail. So males have really long... Well, he just hit his. So males have really long, thick tails where females have shorter, stubbier tails. Oh look, he pulled his tail out. So this is kind of nasty, but it's something I need to mention also. No, Tito, don't hide your tail, honey. Wear it with pride. Okay, I'll just insert a picture here. So the cloaca in males is located a lot lower in the tail than with females. Another dead giveaway is the size of the turtle. Tito is a full-grown adult. He stopped growing years ago. That's perfectly normal for males so males are actually smaller than females i'm gonna go ahead and get a female right now just a, a warning she's not nice you know she's a very grumpy turtle she hates being handled so i don't handle her that much but when i do she acts like this i'll be back you'll see what i'm talking about ow you're scratching me lord have mercy Okay, so this how, girl, <laughs> oh, this isn't gonna go well. Uh, that was my bad. That was a really fast sun movement. I take full responsibility. <laughs> okay, so this is Penelope. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, so damn it, child. Could you not be a deep for one bit? Uh, uh, girl, you better close that mouth. Close it. Close. <laughs> she opened wider. <laughs> I'm your mother. No, not to me. Close it. Thank you. Her opening her mouth like that. That's not okay. I feed you every day. I clean up your mess. You are a messy turtle. And that's how you repay me with that attitude? Close it. Close it. Uh, no, uh, you almost had it. Close it. Thank you, baby. I love you. Oh, she's gonna just keep it. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. So this is Penelope. <laughs> she is a owl, full-grown, 
slider, she's a female. So the size difference becomes quite clear when they're side by side. So a male slider is significantly smaller than females. Ow, she's glowing me. Oh, I'm going down. Ow. Damn it, Penelope. Okay, so this is the perfect time to show you guys the claws. So look at her claws. They're, they're sharp as hell. Don't let the length fool you. Yeah, males have longer claws, but hers hurt more because she's a lot stronger and heavier built. Damn it, are you gonna have your mouth open the whole time? So she's humongous. She is like a whole mood. <laughs> Damn it, Penelope. Damn it, Penelope. Ow. I'm being tortured. I still love you. I promise to take care of you for the rest of my life. She just opened her mouth at that. That's me pouring my heart out to you and you just take it for granted. That's so mean. And that's Penelope. <laughs> We're moving on. So, this is Natasha. She is actually Tito and Penelope's daughter. So I guess that whole claw wiggling he did for Penelope worked because this happened. So a lot of you that reach out to me trying to get help with sexing your turtles. Yeah, a lot of you send pictures of little baby turtles asking whether they're male or female. So you actually can't accurately sex baby turtles. They actually all look female when they're small. And then as they grow, you can kind of start to tell the difference. So Natasha is significantly smaller than Penelope. She's probably just a little over Tito's size. But due to her claws, there's her claws. Those are female. And then her tail is long, but it's thin. And you know, she's obviously humongous. She's gonna be just as big as her mom. So um, yeah, she's female. So here's Tiny. <laughs> so Tiny is growing. Tiny's not so tiny anymore. Okay, so here's Tiny at the very top and Tiny's siblings. So these are all of the last batch of Penelope and Tito's kids. Uh, you know, from that one time when I didn't realize that Penny laid eggs and then they hatched and I didn't know. They were like surprised. So I've never sexed them before so we're gonna do it on camera for the first time. And I can tell right away who is what. So it's kind of like a rule in the turtle world where you need to let turtles reach at least three inches of shell length in order to accurately somewhat sex them. Tiny is the smallest out of all of those. So if Tiny is over three inches, then all the others can be sexed. <laughs> You're actually three inches and a quarter. So that means that we can go ahead and sex Tiny. So uh, for all of those of you at home, if you have baby turtles, don't try and sex them until they're at least three inches of just shell length. Like don't include the head and the tail just shell length. Okay, so this is a female. Tiny is female. So the claws are telling me female. And then the tail is small and thin. So my accurate guess right now would be that Tiny is female. Okay, let's go ahead and do three at a time now. So this one, again, short claws and thin stubby tail. This is also a female. You short claws and thin tail female and this one again female so all three of these female so now the last two this one is also female and this one's also female so that means that all my sliders are female except for tito which is actually super super good first of all tito can't live with the girls because he's super aggressive so um, if any of these would have turned out to be male i probably would have looked into rehoming them because um yeah males just get really aggressive with females they bite them constantly and just harass them throughout the day especially during mating season it's really bad once they reach sexual maturity to house males and females together 
peacefully. My plan is to have one really big pond for all my sliders since um, you know they need the space and <clears throat> they need the space and the swimming room and everything so they'll just kind of all live together and it just it's great it's gonna be peaceful <laughs> Okay, so this is Buddy. He is a mud turtle. He, yes, he's a boy. He's gonna be hiding because he's just super shy. And, oh, hello. <laughs> so mud turtles have a hinged shell. And I can actually open and close this little part right here. It's like a door, almost. Oh, he's coming out. Hello. So most turtles can only uh, hide their necks and head inside their shells as to where these guys can completely like do that but then like close their shell behind. It's really awesome. It protects them against predators and it's really cool. So this is a boy. Let me tell you guys why. First of all, so males have a like a dented in shell. So instead of their shell being like flat, it curves in here in the center. As you can see, it's like a C shape. So that is uh, for when they are doing like the nasties with another female. Say this is a female. My hand's the female. So their shell is curved in like that so that they can mount the female so because of their shell being dented in like that it kind of like locks in place with the female this is nasty what has my life come to their shells lock it makes it easier for him to mount and then they do the thing so basically only males have the dented in shell like that females have a completely flat undershell and that tail does not lie. <laughs> so males have a extremely long and thick tail. And then females have a really short, cute tail. <laughs> so yeah, that's the difference between a male and a female mud turtle. So, y'all remember this cutie? So this is my map turtle, significantly bigger from the last time that you guys saw her. Let's measure your shell first. You are exactly three inches, so I guess we could technically go ahead and sex her. So I'm gonna say female, but remember that could change as she grows. So these guys can be sexed um, pretty much the same way as sliders, like the same things apply to them. So based on the claws, you know, I don't know, like I can, I think this one is a little bit longer. I don't know, like they do look a little bit longer than the rest of them, like the second and third claw do look longer. This one's confusing. So I'm thinking female, but she might, like there's, there's doubts. And then the tail... It's actually pretty long and somewhat thick, but the cloaca is pretty high up. This one's a tricky one. So right now it looks female, but I'm not sure. So we're gonna keep it as a question mark. Okay, so here is my little yellow spotted Amazon River Turtle. You're looking gorgeous. This cutie is uh, way too small to sex properly. The three inch rule doesn't apply to her because she's not a slider. And this species of turtle gets humongous. So three inches for her is, is nothing compared to her adult size. So she's not big enough to sex yet, so we're not even gonna try. But I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys the differences between male and female. So with this 
turtle species, males are smaller than females. Adult males weigh between one and two pounds, and then females can weigh up to 2.5 to 6.5 pounds. Females would basically be like two or three times larger than males. So we gotta wait till this cutie is a lot bigger so that we can weigh him or her and have a more accurate guess. So yeah, still a baby, but here she is. Yeah, remember my mini dinosaur? So my dinosaur is growing really fast. Okay, so all these last turtles are my turtles from that video. They all are still pretty small because, you know, it hasn't been that long. Except for the common snapper and the alligator snapper. They are just blooming. They're just taking off. They're growing so fast especially compared to the others. And here's my alligator snapper. So look at their size, you guys. Like just, they're humongous compared to when they came to me. My cute little dinosaurs. They're so cute. Your tail is awesome. Look at the tail. Look at this tail. Look at that texture. So sexy and common snapping turtles is actually quite difficult because males and females are actually very similar. It's easier to sex them when you have one of each side by side to really see the difference. Basically, males are bigger than females. The other dead giveaway is again like with Buddy the mud turtle. The undershell of males tends to be a little bit curved in. Her shell is actually completely smooth under. So I'd say she's a beautiful girl. But, you know, that's just my guess right now. Like, she's still pretty small. Y'all, yeah, like, her shell is just awesome. Okay, so moving on to my alligator snapping turtle. Again, still too small to sex. So they're a lot bigger than the rest of my turtles. But these guys, the three inch shell rule doesn't apply either because they get humongous. So even though he's big right now, like this is nothing compared to their adult size. But basically, full-grown adult males are bigger than females. Also, males have a longer tail. It's also thicker than females and the vent would be a lot lower. So the general rule with these guys with sexing is you have to wait till they reach a good 12, 13 inches of shell length. Like that's a whole foot. That's like Penelope size. So we're gonna have to wait a while before we can know whether this Cutie Potori is male or female, but that's okay. I don't mind. Oh, you're gonna open your mouth now. Are you gonna display your worm? So I like these guys have an awesome mouth. You're gonna show us. Yeah. If you look inside their mouth, that little red thing wiggles underwater. They use it to catch fish so they wiggle that little thing underwater and it looks like a worm so fish just go for it and when they have the fish in their mouth they close it and swallow the fish whole so it's really awesome he's mad at me so I'm gonna go ahead and put him back yeah you were doing so well so I refer to him as a he but he could be a she that's just me making assumptions so next up we have matilda yeah this is her matilda girl your tail is shaped weird okay so uh matilda is my mata mata turtle who looks exactly like this leaf 
So I'm not gonna take her out of her enclosure for this video because it's really chilly here in the house. Her water temperature is in the 80s because she's a tropical species. And then the room temperature here where I'm filming is in the upper 60s. So that's a big fluctuation of temperature. I don't want to take her out of her enclosure and then risk her getting a respiratory infection. So instead, we're just gonna insert some clips here. So this is Matilda. Matilda is my Mata Mata turtle, who apparently you guys just like can't with her. Like her face is just impossible for you guys to locate from what you tell me, <laughs> which is weird. Like it's right there, you know? It's a face. <laughs> So she actually hasn't grown much either, just like my map turtle and my yellow spotted. So Mata Mata turtles get humongous, but it takes years and years and years for that to happen. So her growth is pretty slow. So um, yeah, this is her. She kind of looks pretty much the same. She needs a shell scrub though. <laughs> So just like with my common snapping turtle and my alligator snapping turtle, she is also way too small to accurately sex. So Mata Mata turtles can be more easily sexed when they reach a shell length of a good at least 10 inches. So Matilda is nowhere near that. So we won't know for a few years whether she's a girl or a boy, but you know, I've just decided she's a girl. So I went ahead and named her and refer to her as her you know because it's going to be so long before we can know for sure if she's a boy or a girl but if she turns out to be a he then that's fine but this is how you tell the difference between a male and a female so the two main giveaways for whether they're male or female are the tail length and the markings on their head which are referred to as arrows so males have longer thicker tails with the vent located further down like with a lot of other turtle species also in males the lines on their heads are darker and thicker also males have been known to have a more concave bottom shell so those are the three main key points to look at when trying to sex a mod mod of turtles so yeah that is it that's uh, my turtles that I'm gonna show in this video. So I hope this helps some of you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, <coughs> I'm sick. Subscribe to me because I'm sick. <laughs> Subscribe because I film videos even though I feel like crap and just wanna be in bed. So let me know down below who is your favorite out of all the turtles in this video. Also, don't forget to turn on your notifications so that you get a notification every time I upload a new video. So that's it, thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Have a good day or a good night and I love you guys. Bye. So someone asked me on Instagram about my three-legged kitty, Dan Taylor named after Lieutenant Dan. So he's still around and humongous and so handsome. You are so handsome, baby. So here he is. He's missing that leg for those of you who are new here. So he's good, thank you for asking about him. My voice is going, come back to me. Ah. Ooh, look, it's a wave. You guys wanna see my rats? Let's come see my rats. Hello. <gasps> Honey, you're gonna fall. <laughs> Look at them, they're asleep. Hello. Good night.